Hi friends, brothers and sisters, my name is Nino and welcome to Pathways of Hope. Have you ever been afraid of something that you would go to great extents just to ensure that that something that you're afraid of never happens? You know, two months ago, while my wife Adele and I were attending an activity in our community, we received a call from our ate who was taking care of our then 10-month-old baby Benedict. She said that Benny fell from his high chair. Adele and I froze instantly. And after that initial shock, fear crept in. We then excused ourselves from that community activity. And despite of the advice of our brothers and sisters, I think I sped up a little bit. We then called Benny's pedia right away, even if it was already late that night. She told us to observe Benny for the night for any signs of head trauma and that there was no need for any CT scans or MRI, despite my begging to have it right away. And right before our call ended, she told me to pray that no signs and symptoms of head trauma ever come in the next three days. Our gospel today comes from John chapter 11, verse 45 to 56. And let me read verses 45, 47 to 50. Then the chief priests and Pharisees called the meeting. Here is this man working all these signs, they said. And what action are we taking? If we let him go in this way, everybody will believe him. And the Romans will come and suppress the holy place and our nation. One of them, Caiaphas, the high priest that year said, You do not seem to have grasped the situation at all. You fail to see that it is to your advantage that one man should die for the people. Rather that the whole nation should perish. The gospel today paints us the picture that the chief priests and Pharisees were afraid. That if they let Jesus go on to continue doing his miracles, then everybody will believe that he is the Messiah, the long-awaited king that would put Israel to its rightful pedestal and glory. And since they did not believe that Jesus is the Messiah, they think that he will just stir up a rebellion. And at the onset of any rebellion to the empire, the ruthless Romans will step in to counter and crush that rebellion rather viciously. And this will lead most likely to the loss of lives of many Jews. This then led Caiaphas to his wicked scheme, to seek Jesus' death. All the while, they were not just concerned that Jesus' rise would cause a violent Roman response. They were also concerned that Jesus' fame would result in them losing their jobs and status as honored and distinguished teachers of the law. Brothers and sisters, fear suppresses our faith and sometimes leads us to go to great extents just to ensure that that's something that we're afraid of never happens. Therefore, I think it is necessary for us to learn how we should address those that we fear so that we should not go into firefighting mode with misguided intentions. And I would like to suggest three things. B, T, S. Not the familiar Korean boy band, but BTS has its ring to it. B, believe in the Lord. The evil one wants us to think that there are many things that this world should be afraid of, causing us to freeze. Just like my wife and I's experience, when we heard our 10-month-old son falling from his high chair. Let us believe that fear cannot and should not hold us back. For in 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7, it says, For God gave us a spirit not of fear, but of power and love and self-discipline. T. Trust in His plans. Sometimes in the middle of fear, we think that we are alone and vulnerable and the Lord is nowhere to be found. But God reminds us in Isaiah chapter 41, verse 10, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will hold you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. S. Seek Him through prayer. Towards that end of our call with our pedia, our doctor told us to pray that hopefully, no signs and symptoms of head trauma ever come in the next three days. We did pray, and God did hear our prayers. When we are in fear, instead of falling over, 
let us instead fall on our knees and seek the Lord in prayer. In Psalm chapter 34, verse 4, it says, I sought the Lord, and He answered me, and delivered me from all my fears. Brothers and sisters, the enemy uses fear to separate us from the God who loves us. But His perfect love will drive out any fear in our hearts. And remember, B-T-S. Believe in the Lord, trust in His plans, and seek Him through prayer. Amen. If you have been blessed by this short reflection, please like and share Pathways of Hope to your friends and loved ones. Again, my name is Nino Christian Pedraza. Thank you and have a blessed day.